Hello there, this is Deborah Cox with Go Engineer, and I am a 3D printer technician, and I'm here to talk to you today about moving your desktop polyjet printer, which can be the Object 24, the Object 30, the 30 Pro, and the 30 Prime. The first thing you want to do is go into Full Shutdown Wizard by going to the Options, Shutdown Wizard, and Run Shutdown Unattended. After the machine is finished cleaning out the heads and the screen says OK to turn off printer, you can then safely turn off your printer and unplug it from the back. The Z stage should have moved down to the bottom of the build area. If not, you will need to lower it with the screw that is in front of the build tray. Once it has reached the bottom, then it is safe to continue. Now you want to soak a head cleaning cloth in alcohol, and I do mean soak it, you do want it very wet, and place this on the gantry stationary tray and put it on the tray and put then put the tray in the build bed. This must be put in the correct direction as noted in the picture, or the gantry and heads will not seat correctly. Move the heads over the build tray and use a screwdriver now to raise the bed up till the stationary tray is firmly seated around the heads. Do not raise it up too far or you will raise the gantry up and put this machine out of alignment. Please note the pictures as this is securely seated now. Now remove the model and support material from the machine and wrap the machine in shrink wrap to prevent any damage to the machine and also this ensures that the model and material drawer will not open during transit but if you are going for a distance then we will seat the material drawer properly with the red lock. So again as I stated in the previous slide if you're going to move at a great distance you will need to secure the material drawer as follows. You should still have the red drawer lock that came with your machine. You're going to open the material drawer slightly slide the lock into the slot in the front of the drawer and then seal it in with the screw. After you have moved the machine you are now ready to start it back up and you'll want to do it in the following direction. First you're going to want to remove the shrink wrap that you put around the machine regardless whether you lock the red drawer in or not. Then lower the Z stage all the way to the bottom of travel with the screwdriver. It will stop when it reaches the bottom so you can't over lower it with the same screw that you used to raise it before. Slowly move the gantry back to the left over the purge area and I do stress that slowly is something that you will need to do as it can build up static and this and this is the best way to prevent static buildup. The next thing you're going to want to do is remove the stationary tray from the Z stage. You just push it down slightly and it will move away uh, and then you can lower it up. Put the material back into the drawer. Now you're ready to plug in the machine, hook it up to the server computer, and as long as you're using the same server computer, you shouldn't have any issues with needing a new IP address or anything like that. And then you can turn it on. If you should need any additional help while you're in the process of doing this, you can always call us on our 855-470-0647 number. Or you can also email us at rpsupport at goengineer.com. We are here Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, and we'll be happy to help assist you with your moving of your printer. If you should have any additional questions, again, feel free to reach out to us. This is Deborah Cox with Go Engineer, and thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.